Hey everybody, this is Jazzy Horse Go 101, and I got some new Briar Horses to share with you. A new Briar Barn to share with you as well. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Um, two of them I have not opened yet, and then one I got for Christmas and I just never showed you. So, I just put him in this video. So we'll start with him. This is the horse I got for Christmas. Um, I just put this tack on him randomly. Um, okay, so here he is. Um, my parents have no idea what traditionals or classics are, so he's classic size. I don't collect classic size. Um, he's a stallion. He's a thoroughbred stallion. He is the best in show, realistic, real haired horse model. Um, he's got very realistic eyes. They're like uh, glossy, like, they're kind of like a glass type thing, so they look really cool. Um, he is a dapple. He's got dapples on his hindquarters. Um, he's a flea, flea bit in gray. I don't know if you can see that, but he's got little flecks. My camera isn't really that great. Um, he's got four socks. Not four socks, three socks. Um, He's got dark knee and stuff, so he's got braided forelock and mane, and a braided tail. So yeah, that's him. He also comes with this little stand, it has briar on one side, rear and horses on the side, up, up, so that's him. And then I got this amazing briar barn at the tax store the other day. Um, I already put two horses in it, so it has this roof that can lift off, and I'll show you the roof before I lift it off. Here we go. Lift it off. So big. Alright. You can lift the roof off, and it has a halo. It has a ladder over there. I just put it up there. Um, it's halo off. I put two tack boxes up here just because um, the stall doors open at the top. I think they're called Dutch doors or something like that. And the bottom, I have like, their name tags on there. It has little hay feeders. The stall divider with the little windows so you can see each other. Um, it has barred windows in the back, really large our windows. Um, I put sawdust in there, but it does come these little black mats. I just like sawdust, so I put that in there. Um, I'm gonna put even water buckets in there as well. Yep, so it's autumn and April in here. And then it has, I got it used, so it's missing one of the pegs on this side and one of the pegs on that side, but there's Two pegs for each, one for each side for their halters. Um, and I'm still holding the roof. <laughs> Back here, if I can move him, it's in the way. It has a door for the outside. It has one over here. So, yeah, it's a nice little barn, and that's how big the stalls are just for like small traditionals so yep so I got that barn I thought it was a pretty good price because on Amazon they're really expensive and it was like first I think it was like how much money uh, 60 I think so I was like sure I'll get it why not um, next we have the package so excited I'm gonna open it. We have a stablemate! Yay! It is a Falleg Road! They still make size. We'll open him then. And we have. Sweepy! Oh, she's so cute! She's so cute. There's the back. Friendship is forever. That's amazing. 
So yeah, we'll open her up then too. Right, so first, I have the Steel Me Philander Folagu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, he has no flaws except that. Although that might just be a marking that the actual horse has. I doubt it. Um, but yeah, so there's him. He does come in a traditional size, but I want Steel Me size because they're cheaper. But this is a new mold that I don't have, so I was like, I need it. I didn't want it, I needed it. So, yep, I'll add him to my Steel Mate collection. He's really pretty. I like his face, how it's like turned to an angle, like he's being turned. So it's really, he's really pretty. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, there's him, and he does stand pretty well. Hmm, he's really just down there and he just stands, so that's good. I like when they just stand by themselves. Um, then I got the Sweet Pea, which I will rename her too. Um, she comes with the book. You know. She came with the Steel Charm bracelet that is way too small for my wrist, although I wouldn't have worn it anyway. It's mostly for little kids. Mm, got a little charm bracelet. You know, sell it in your tail or something, but it's like braided butter stuff. Um, so then with the Sweet Pea. She's really cute. See her face marking there. Adorable. Her blanket really does not fit her. I mean, if you look. If you look at her, it doesn't really cover her butt <laughs> very well. It's a cute little blanket. It's a little purple, sparkly, checkered blanket. Um, it is not Velcro in the front, it's just sewed in the front, but it does have a Velcro for the belly. Over her belly. Um, get it over her head. Oh, weird, it doesn't come off. <laughs> her ears are too big. Okay. <laughs> there she is. Very pretty. Oh, I thought that was a flaw, but it's just dust from her blanket. Okay. Anything, and I think because she had a blanket on, she doesn't have any box rubs or anything. So she's really cute, really cute fold. Um, so yep, cute little teal, adorable, so cute. Yep, so that's her, and that's all of my brush stuff to show you today. Uh, thanks for watching.